Hey everybody, so today I'm gonna to be talking about how you can build a SaaS business that costs less than $100 per month on no code and scale it to over $2 million valuation in less than nine months like my agency was able to do with our own SaaS product. My name is Lucas and uh, I'm really excited to jump into this for you. It's crazy the amount of things that are happening right now in the no code space and with AI and ChatGPT and Bubble.io, there's so many things that you can do. And so I'm excited to show you how you can do this and how you can transform your life, transform your business in many different ways. I hope this is valuable. Just for a little bit of background on my agency, I own a company called Twiz.io and that business does over $1.7 million per year in revenue before we even launched the software product. And then we decided to go all in on software and we launched the software product in 2021. And then over the course of 2021 to now, we've built it, scaled it, and now have many users on the platform that we are continuing to iterate on. We do marketing for all kinds of people and we've basically added the software on the back end. and you could sign up for free to even see it. If you go to sign up here, you can actually see the software just by clicking on here and you can see it. And basically what the software does is it tracks referrals back and forth between people and uh, different agencies. You can send and receive referrals and also you can track activity inside the software like this. And all of this was built on a tool called Bubble, Bubble.io. It's incredibly powerful. And with the AI revolution that's happening, it's completely changing everything. And so if you want to get started with Bubble, uh, you can go and sign up for free. Uh, if, you sign, if you zoom in here, there's a free version of Bubble that costs $0 to get started. You won't be able to deploy your app, but you'll be able to actually get things going and get things started. So if you're interested, I highly recommend it. It's completely free to get going. You can start building things absolutely for free. Now, I want to show you just kind of what's possible with no code. So we built our agency over the last five years, but we launched our software product again in 2021, at the end of 2021. And then over the course of December 2021 to August 2022, we grew up from about $2,000 per month to $28,000 per month in sales. And then that translated into a pretty high valuation at the time. We were using a tool called FounderPath to track our valuation. We had our venture capital valuation at 2.1 million, private equity valuation at 1.2 million, buyer valuation at 581,000, valuation in general, the average one about 700,000. And this is with a software that costs us about $140 per month to manage. It was very cheap, it was very efficient, it was very good. And you can even see that trend line over time of how the valuation grew with the no code SaaS product. Now, if you want to track your valuation, you can go to founderpath.com. It'll track it for you. It'll show you how much money you can pull out and it will show you what your valuation is. So definitely recommend using that. It's also free to get started with. But if you're looking to get going on building an app, one thing that's really cool that wasn't really available when I was starting my process of building the software two years ago or a year and a half ago was ChatGPT. So what you could do now, which is really, really cool, is you can actually start to ideate on the process of building an app uh, before even launching the app. And that's really, really cool. Uh, so if you wanted to build, let's say, a sales CRM, here's a couple of prompts you can use. You could just ask it very simply, what features of an app would I need if I wanted to build a sales CRM? It will tell you exactly what you should build. And the cool thing is, even though it might not be perfect, this is actually something that people would buy. People would buy a sales CRM that could allow you to manage contact info, lead management, sales forecasting, sales reporting, sales analytics, task management, sales automation, all sorts of stuff. They would purchase a software like that. So it's pretty cool to think that it might have all this information for you and it could just do it and it could plan your app for you. And this could be any kind of app. You can give it any kind of a prompt and build any kind of thing, it, whether it's a sales CRM, a help desk, an image, image generating software, uh, it could be a, a delivery app. You can have all these things that it will tell you what it needs to get started. And at least you have the basic framework. Now you can have it come up with a name for that app too. And so here's some basic names you can use just for the application. It could be Salesphere, Sales Boost, Lead Master, Pipeline Pro, CRM Prodigy, Revenue Ranger. I mean, all sorts of cool things. You can ask it to create landing page copy for Lead Master. Let's say you pick that name and you want the copy targeted towards marketing agencies to help them close more sales. Let's say you want to have the, the software be $19 per month to start and have it have a 30-day money-back guarantee. You can have it come up with the landing page copy. And I want to stress that this might not be the best thing for SEO because right now Google is hurting a lot of sites that use pure AI to build their content. But it can at least get you started. And if you know index this page and you don't want it to show up in search results, I think it could be fine to use just for getting conversions. Um, and you can see 
all the things it says that you can do. And then all you have to do is just go build this tool. You have to go build the tool. And if you do, all the copies written for you, the pricing is written for you, the offers written for you, all risk free, as it says here. The last thing you could do to ideate on the process is you could say, write a five-step email onboarding sequence that people will go through when they use the app for the first time. Now, this is really cool because you could just say, hey, come with the email onboarding sequence. You could say, come up with a retention sequence. If somebody tries to leave the app, try to do a five email text email sequence. You could even add phone call sequences if you want someone on your team to go follow up with these people. So it'll come up with these sequences for you that will basically help people with onboarding, uh, offboarding, retention, all sorts of stuff like that. How to add your first lead. It literally says, do these things. So you can go and now design it based on what it tells you to do, which is crazy. And this at least gives you that basic framework and helps you come with those ideas. The other cool thing you could do is you could at any point in time basically just say, hey, I want you to, you can you can brainstorm on an app idea. And then you can take a transcript from Loom, which is the tool I'm using right now. And you can essentially say, take this brainstorming transcript and create an app design outline from what I just brainstormed. So in that way, you could just take that, implement it directly into the app, and then your ideas are distilled. And that's a big thing. A lot of people like me who struggle with things like ADD, we have a hard time with distilling our ideas. We just have so many ideas, we have a hard time distilling them. So this is how I would ideate on the software. Now, the cool thing is once you've actually gone and started to build it and started to uh, build out the idea for this, you can use a tool called ClickUp to actually start managing everything inside a board. And you can start building a development pipeline for your team just like this. And you can literally take each feature of the application. You can copy it, contact management or lead management or sales forecasting or whatever. You can copy it and just pop it in here. Let's say you got lead management. You just pop it in here. Really easy. You assign it to yourself or someone else on your team who's doing the development, you give it a date and that's it. And then you save it. And so now you have a board of all your development ideas. Super simple, super easy. Now with this one, this one was contact management, which was a piece of the CRM that, that ChatGPT told me to use. This basically said, you want to have your app store and manage customer contact information, including names, phone numbers, email addresses, and other important details. Now, if you want to build really fast on Bubble, uh, you can use a tool that actually allows you to build with Bubble using templates, which makes things even faster than if you were to just build on Bubble. The tool is called AirDev, and it's really, really, really effective. It's used by Fortune 500 companies to small startups. All sorts of people use it to make building on Bubble even better. You can go check out all the documentation here to see what that includes. And it, it, it does get a little complex, but it's a lot quicker and a lot faster than if you were to do custom code. I mean, probably 10 times faster honestly, than if you were to do custom code. Now, if you wanted to actually start using AirDev, then you have to, when you create your bubble app, you have to select the AirDev template, which is free when you build the bubble app. And now it'll allow you to actually implement it into the software. So assuming that you've done that, then now you have AirDev in the app. It is an extension you can add to your Chrome, which allows you to start building with AirDev. Now, with AirDev, you basically go shopping for what tools you want to see in the software. So, for example, it'll give you all these different blocks. And if I go to the homepage here, it'll show you over 155 different kinds of blocks and templates that you can use within Bubble. And this is if you're if you already have some development knowledge, it's very similar to components with development and these different components you can just implement directly into your app. It's a very similar concept. If you're familiar with website development, it's very similar to Elementor with WordPress, having pre-built apps, components, and pieces that you could put directly into your website. It's a very similar concept. But basically, let's say for this content management solution, you want to include a, you know, a data table, right? Because this is going to have all the information of the individuals inside this data table. So if you have this, then you can just go grab the link for this particular block. You can put it inside here and you can just tell you a developer or someone on your team, or you could just do it yourself. Hey, this is something I'm in need for the contact management solution. So let's just use this as inspiration. Now, in terms of the pop-ups, right? And if you want to add uh, another thing to the app, it could be a, a form pop-up, right? This form pop-up could also be used to manage information and start adding contacts to the software. So if I click on this, I can see standard form pop-up. And this now can be added to the software. I just need to grab the link and pop it into ClickUp. So now I'm starting to organize everything inside my app that I need built. And it becomes very easy to start building software inside the app. So now that everything's planned, you know what you want. 
You've already added all these different tasks for you to build. Now comes the fun part, which is starting to build it actually inside Bubble. So now what I did is I actually used the uh, Canvas app and the extension to go find a page inside the application that will allow me to start building. So what you do is you go into your Bubble app. So assuming you've created a free Bubble app, now you can go add this uh, these pages. So I just went here and I hit add page and I just gave it a name. Once that happened, it generated this page. Now this here is the design of the app. This actually shows you the back end, if you will, of what's going on visually when you design a bubble app. Now the way that bubble apps are broken down is you have the elements tree, which if you're familiar with Webflow, it's kind of similar to that. Every single page has its own elements tree and inside it are different elements or uh, that can be moved around easily to essentially build different things. And so when you use a template from Canvas, it already comes baked in with a lot of the stuff that you need. Otherwise, you'd have to start from scratch. And so this page has many, many different ways that you can customize it in order to get a working app developed within Bubble. So this is the design section. You can add elements. So if I wanted to now go and use the uh, form pop-up that, or just the sta standard data table I was mentioning before, what I can do is I can just grab the text here. I can just go to my Bubble app. I can just go and search for uh, a keyword for a particular thing. And I'll probably go to all to do this. Just like, oh, sorry. Uh, just like this. It's under blocks. Standard data table, group main content. This is going to be where it's mainly in. That's the, the center of the app. I'm going to hit add. And then within a couple of seconds here, it's going to be added to the software. So now that it's inside here, right, I can now go and preview this inside the software. And I can see that I have the dashboard and I have the data table. And now I can just go configure it. So the subject of this video is a high level overview of everything you can do with Bubble and how I'd use AI and Bubble to build a software company that can make money. But the topic of my subsequent videos is going to be how you can actually build using Bubble very complex software solutions that you can then uh, you know, add a bunch of data in here and make it even more powerful. But this just kind of gives you the general idea. That's how you add the blocks into the software. So after you've planned it, you just go here, you search for the name of what you want, you search for it inside the extension, you add it, and once it's added, then you go configure it. When you go configure it, you can do all sorts of things. You can adjust the appearance, you can adjust the layout, you can add conditional statements, all sorts of stuff. You can add workflows on the back end, right? These are like, if you're familiar with Zapier, it's kind of similar to Zapier. You can add a workflow that says, hey, when the navigate tab is clicked, I want you to scroll to a certain section of the page. I want you to go to a page and I want you to send more parameters to a certain page, right? You could also do, hey, when a page is loaded, I want to trigger this tab to load. For example, I want to open um, a certain thing when something else is clicked, right? So there's a lot of different workflows that you can run in the back end. And this is really the power of Bubble. I would say this is what separates it from a lot of other apps is that a lot of other softwares don't allow you to have the complexity that Bubble does on the workflow side. The last piece is with the data section. So being able to actually have all your different data types in here, having privacy rules applied to different things, uh, making it difficult for people to actually hack your data or find your data inside the app. This is all customizable inside the software. You can do CSS styling, you can add plugins, you can change your settings. All of this can be done inside of the app. So I hope that you found this valuable and I hope that you really enjoy working with Bubble and I hope that you build something amazing that you're proud of and other people enjoy. Thanks. So I hope that you enjoyed this video explaining everything on how to grow and scale a SaaS business on no code using Bubble.io and ChatGPT. Remember, you could do this for less than $100 per month to get started and you can build a business that costs you practically nothing but is worth millions of dollars. It's what I was able to do. I know that you can do the same thing. I'm rooting for you. If you need any help, just leave comments down below in the comment section. I'm here for you anytime you'd like. Hope you have a great day and I hope you enjoy this video and any future tutorials that we do. I hope you enjoy them as well. Thank you.